CSGO versus Valorant, okay? Seven days ago, and uh, this has been in my recommended for all these seven days as well. Both of them are uh, gimmicked as horrible people, so let's see what this fella Goldex saying. CSGO or Valorant? It's pretty much the equivalent of asking, would you rather get told to off yourself within the first minute of a game? Kill yourself. Or listen to an e-couple for 10 minutes straight. For every kill you get, I'll give you an ara ara. <laughs> all right, bet. <laughs> but wait, does that kill count? Ara ara. Oh! Now, believe it or not, based on my many Valorant videos on my TikTok. Wait, wait. I think I showed this on stream. Before we continue with the video, let me go to Craftmeister. This is so good. This one, right? Oh my god, you get so many views and likes on this as well. Oh my. This. So loud. Oh my, mommy, I need a heal. Oh my god, you need a heal. Come here. <laughs> You're coming. There we go. That's real shit. Bro, what the fuck? How do people like that exist? What the fuck? Dude. Oh my god. How do we degrade this much in, in the fucking in today's world? That's crazy. Okay, anyways, anyways, anyways. Back to back to the video. TikTok. And a whopping three of them on my YouTube. I am in actually a CSGO veteran. I have about a thousand hours on the game. Ignore the back. Little bro called him CS weather in only 1k hours? Come on. I mean, fair enough, fair enough. But not fair enough at the same time. 1k, 1k ain't enough, bro. The Valor clip made me want to do the unalive on God. <laughs> For real. Backband. Or the knife that I own that could possibly be worth a thousand dollars. Wait, you had to get backband? Fucking but cheater. I have Fuck my this fair guy. Share of CSGO. I also have my fair share of Valorant. So today I'm going to be taking both sides of the argument. For which one is subjectively better, but Same. also objectively. Also, guys, remember, this guy sounds very American, so you'll take this with a grain of salt, man, when it comes to Valorant stuff and CSGO stuff. You know, he's American, so he's gonna sway towards Valorant, potentially. Let's see. The community. Okay, let's see. Oh, hello? I'm sure you hear this a lot, but I really love oh, your voice. Like, I'm drunk, you. and it's, it's really soothing me. <laughs> Thanks, I'm blushing. We've all seen those clips of these cringy Valorant moments, and hey, it does happen. Playing this game is pretty much the equivalent of playing VR chat, but not in VR chat. Take your hands off it and shake that shit. Pull your shirt up. I know you can shake it. Shake it. I'm American, dislike Valorant? Yeah. You're one of the rare right ones. There. Now, my brother was a veteran CSGO player as well, and whenever I ask him why he hates Valorant, <laughs> he pretty much uses this as his only reason, but I don't blame him. The community of Valorant is so weird, but most of the games really aren't like that. I could play a couple of games and it's fairly normal. Dude, if anything, chat, if anything, the community would make me want to play this game. Imagine how crazy the voice comms would go. Imagine the arguments. The f oh my god. I could flame so many people. It's insane. Like endless amount of content. But the game itself, dude, I I'm never playing this shit. I've never played it and I never will. But when it comes to the community, I would love to actually talk to some of these Andr Andersons. Yeah, fuck this game, dude. Anyways, let's keep watching. You actually get actually, you can get yeah, and I'd get banned instantly as well, they would ban me so fast. It's not even funny. Electrical inputs from a mouse, so yeah, 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 uh, I'm, you, from a potato. So I'm technically, I'm potato. technically, I'm potato. Um, technically you can actually hook it up to a wire. I might have some people that are definitely too old to be playing this game. I would have to, I would have to say Cardi B for sure. She's a huge influence on a lot of people. And some that are definitely too young. But most of the times, the e-couples on here just snuggle in a corner and don't talk in voice chat. But that might be because I queue with my friends and I don't have a lot of room for just randoms. E now going to the CSGO community, the Cringe. community and their videos are very different than Valorant. Whether it be Franz J videos or just random shit posts, I think the CSGO community is completely different than Valorant. It definitely has way more racism. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. Sexism. Your insults do not matter. But so does Valorant. Get off the f game and do your work with this. But what CSGO does have are the Russians. But the CSGO community is definitely different. Oh no, this clip. <laughs> I was wiping some shit off. <laughs> Academics, dude. <laughs> this is made by Smiley. What? Why YouTube did you academics? This was made by Smiley. This is not real, I'm pretty sure. What? That's bullshit. <laughs> Exiting narrator. <laughs> 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 
This is so good. It's definitely the toxicity. And of course, Valorant does have that, but they're a lot better at making it feel safer no, and more chai, casual. Chai, can... listen, CSGO is not toxic at all, man. It just builds a good character, okay, man? Look at me. Look at me. I can take any insult possible in the world. All because of Mr. CSGO. It, it just builds you as a better person in the life. Long term. You just gotta take it, man. Either you take it or you talk back and you advance your shit talking skills and that brings you far in life as well. CSGO made me a better racist? What? No. No, no, no. You don't have to be sexist, racist, homophobic or anything. You can still um, get to people's hearts in different ways. Yeah, no, shout out to CSGO. It's just um, it's just good, man. Mentally good game. Gets you a little reality check sometimes. You can always just report someone and most likely it's always good content as well. said anything remotely bad, which could be a good or bad thing depending on who you are. And to me, Valorant seems like it just appeals to the more casual gamer. And CSGO players, I feel like, are way more true. serious, which probably causes Facts, them to dude. be so toxic. Green, yep. Green, what, what's your problem, Green? What is your problem? Missile alone ramp. Missile alone ramp. <laughs> Tense, dude. <laughs> also, you can pretty much get away with like anything in this game. But like most things, there's definitely pros and cons to each of these games. And the thing is, there's just so much about the CSGO history, and I really can't do it any justice in just one video. There's so much that happened, so many lives that were changed just from the game. I know it sounds a little dramatic, yep. but sadly those was changed too, guys. Over. Now, if I were to compare the two, I'd definitely say that Valorant's videos are shit. Most of their community-made content is just garbage compared to CSGO. But I actually love the community when you're playing the game. There are a lot of chill people that you get queued with, and the actual in-game people are nothing like they are in the videos. CSGO, on the other hand, the videos are really great, and the videos make the game look yep. fun and just goofy and stuff. True. But the actual in-game community... Like, dude, when I watch, when I've seen, like, a Valorant clip or a video, I just, just looks so weird. I can't get myself into the thing. When I see CSGO, it looks, like, so much more, uh, realistic. I don't know, the colors, the... Everything about CSGO just makes me want to look at the game. But, then again, I might be... Now, this could actually be biased, okay? Because the thing is, when you actually play a game yourself, or you've played the game before, you also can watch the videos, or you understand the videos better than if you didn't play the game. So, it's kind of weird from my perspective, because I never played Valorant. So maybe that's the reason why I can't look at their videos either because I, I can't relate dude It's like a 50 50 I guess. Yeah, the Valorant movement. It pisses me off. It's so slow, man It's so sluggish. I hate it. The is shit. So they're kind of switched. I hope that made sense Deductions, microtransactions, CSGO wins, Now, we all know wins, that dude. both these games have a fair share of microtransactions and skins. Now, I don't mean to dick eat a lot, but Valorant skins are just so much better than CSGO's. Mainly because of the animations Most L opinion incoming, by the way. What? What is little bro waffling about here? Nah. No shot. He just said Valorant skins are. I can't even tell apart. Like, what is a, what the fuck is a skin and what is not? I can see where the video turned to shit. <laughs> For real. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Is that even have stickers or, or, or? I mean, maybe they have wares or no. But it's just like Fortnite. You buy it and you keep it forever. You can never sell it. Bro, what? How is this better? I mean, again, I'm not too familiar with the weapons of Valorant. So I'm not also familiar familiar with how are the skins looking like the very maybe he's gonna show us uh, so maybe then we can tell but come on come on you can't sit nah man come on bro even the knife animations are better than thousand dollar knives in csgo like just <gasps> look at this okay a butterfly knife is trash okay i can agree with that csgo skins will never be as good as valorant skins but Dude, wrap it up, man. Please, this guy needs to wrap it up here. There's no way he keeps talking for one and a half minutes for about skins. Please stop. Please stop. This guy's digging a fucking grave right now. No, no, you can't trade anything in Valorant. It's hard stuck on your account. It's like literally Fortnite. But, and it's a big but. There is something that CSGO does way better than Valorant. In case you didn't know, there's a whole player run economy on Steam. And because at that least the economy, at CSGO least can be sold for actual faster. money, which you can use to buy games or even cash out on some sites. CSGO basically did NFTs before NFTs. As far as I know, each skin has its own pattern and float value, which yep. is completely unique. Unless so they're cool. Deeps. I'm not too sure though. This so is the, cool. This is the best pattern in the game. <laughs> So that means your knife can be completely different from somebody else's knife. Or your skin can look way better than somebody else's oh. shitty battle scarred skin. That doesn't exactly make it better, but I think the market here is just so much better than Valorant not being any market. Oh. And skins just basically cost the is, same whether what they is look that? good or not. What I mean, even use that shit for? Now, it might just be my opinion, but I think having my own unique skin compared to someone else having the same skin as me is just way cooler. And there's also something else that CSGO does. I uh. love a game that will allow 13-year-olds to gamble. And if you want a game that does exactly that, CSGO 
Mexico is just for you. Now, being yeah. my age when I first started playing this game, I had a gambling addiction by age 14. Not really, That's though, normal. but I did spend... It, it's normal. You gotta go through that, man. Every normal CSGO child has to go through a gambling addiction, man. It's just in the Bible. Literally, first page of Bible, man. Install CSGO, spend $100 of your mother's credit card on cases, man. Else you're not allowed to play for drone. And then again, dude, the strongest ones survive, right? It's again, building your character. CSGO, at the end of the day, it's all about the mentality, man. It tests how weak of a person you are. Do you continue that gambling addiction further in your life and you go play slots and, and, and roulette or blackjack and some other shit and then you lose your house, your wife, your kids over it? Or do you learn from it and you realize that gambling is all a scam and you'll, you'll lose anyways and you just ignore it, man. Keep living your life and saving up your money and spending it on smart, useful things. But I mean, most of the case, people actually kind of get addicted. So it's kind of sad, you know, I can relate to that. I wouldn't call myself weak minded, but I do uh, happen to sometimes sway off a bit the reality and go gamble some shit away. But I gamble only what I can afford. So at least that's good. I don't go over the top. And most of my money on cases. Should I buy more keys? Yes, all the keys. And I'm sure even if you don't play the game, everybody has seen a case opening before, or at least maybe back in the day. There's just something so satisfying yeah, about gambling. Word, I guess it it's a pretty universal thing. Wait, what yeah, you there's say? no better feeling Wait, than hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Learn gambling is bad before you're at the age to take loans. Yeah, true. I, I actually kind of wonder how it works, man. Is it better to be introduced to gambling as a child or as a fresh adult? Because I feel like when you're an adult, you have a job, and when you when you get it twisted, it can get really bad, man. Especially if you have like bills to pay and some other stuff. When you're a kid, you just lose your birthday money, Christmas money, maybe I don't know your mom gave you some extra money. You lose that, but you can't really lose too much in a way. It's again kind of parents' issue. If they give you too much money, it's their problem, dude. It's not even your problem. That's worth like sixty bucks after spending two hundred dollars. I'm a I'm a quick opening. <laughs> What? I lost my carrot tiger tooth at 17 on Christmas day. I've not touched the gambling set since. See, I'm, I'm proud of you, G5. I'm proud of you, dude. Oh! What'd you get? What'd you get? I got I shadow daggers again! Are you kidding me? Fresh. Jokes aside, case openings were just so different. And if Valorant ever adds cases, I'm gonna be in debt. Uh, gameplay. Oh boy, here we go, here we go, now, boys. getting on to the more controversial side of this, this one uh -huh. is definitely subjective. Now, there's going to be some things that are definitely going to be better, but aside from that, most <laughs> are going to be opinion. Bro, you can already tell this guy is gonna be uh, swaying towards the Valorant side. I don't think anyone in the in the world, whoever makes the CS:GO versus Valorant video, uh, warns anyone that this is gonna be controversial. Because if you talk shit about Valorant, it's most of the time you, you get kind of positive feedback in a way, kind of potentially maybe. But if you start sh sh talking CS:GO, bro, you're done, man. You're done. Now starting with CS:GO, oh, see, it is see. of course on the Source engine, and I can't give you an engine good. that I love oh, more, the movement. more nostalgic so good. about than this engine. Once you learn the quirks of it. And one game, you've pretty much learned so it good. in all. And the main quirk of this game has got to be the movement. The movement in this knife. game is just absolutely That's insane. Rafted. I know that I said that most of this would be opinion based, but I don't think this one can be disputed. The CSGO movement is so much better than Valorant. Yes. Valorant, on the other hand, doesn't right. have a whole lot. It might have bunny hopping, but it's the same speed as it running does? with your knife out. It also oh. has air <laughs> strafing, but anybody can do that. Unlike Valorant, CSGO movement has to actually be learned and practiced. But I think that's the reason Valorant actually doesn't have this movement is because it creates a huge skill gap between players. Like I said, Valorant yeah. is supposed to be a lot more. You know what, Valorant, yeah, it's like, uh, it's it's more focused on all the magic bullshit going on, right? All the fucking 15,000 types of smokes and, and teleportations and some other bullshit. So fair enough. They don't even need movement. If they had movement, there would be way too big of a skill gap then. It would be unreal to learn. More casual and appealing to new players. Now, of course, there are a bunch of this movement is the video that said Valorant. Valorant. It's, it's not only yeah, yeah, it is, it Once is. you get high up the skill ladder, there are some insane movements you can do. Now, moving away from movement, I think the guns in Valorant feel way better and way more responsive than CSGO. CSGO, you have to learn all the recoil patterns and you can't see any tracers where your bullets are going like Valorant. Like I said before, Valorant is just way more appealing to newer players or modern players because more user Okay, good thing he said newer players. Because, I mean, that, that's what creates the skill gap, right? The, the the recoil control. Again, I can't really comment on this myself. I, I never played Valorant, I, so I never sprayed a weapon or shot a weapon in Valorant. So I don't know how it feels. But if this guy is saying that it's easier to aim in Valorant, how is it better then? It's, uh, then there's no skill gap. Your friendly gameplay or visual cues are the new standard. And hey, maybe the whole reason you don't like Valorant is because of that. And that makes complete sense. But I personally don't better? enjoy it because you have to play CSGO. Yeah, because the Valorant is 
is 128 tick servers, right? I think that's one thing they're winning over CSGO. But then again, if they added 128 to matchmaking, it would kind of ruin it a bit, maybe. It's also very hard to be hope on 128 tick. Very hard compared to 64. Unless CSGO completely revamps the way ranks work and stuff like that, there's no point of adding 128 tick servers either. There needs to be a complete revamp. Complete, I don't know. I don't know what, but something crazy. Did you know what I was thinking the other day? Since I played some FIFA 23 recently, I was thinking about imagine how cool it would be if there was like weekly or I don't know monthly or some kind of seasons where you for example play you have 20 games that you can play and based on uh, how many wins you get you place in a higher rank that gives you like higher rewards or some shit it sounds kind of crazy for CSGO right but imagine how cool that would be but again that 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 makes a uh, issue because there's cheaters so yeah it would be kind of bad so never mind scrap that idea but still imagine like you know f foot champs or division rivals type beat in CSGO that would be sick can't tell the difference between 64 and 120. Nah, you, you definitely can. You definitely can. Me as a person that plays both matchmaking and face it, I can definitely tell when I'm when I'm on matchmaking and when I'm on face it. Everything just so much smoother on 128. All right. Anyways, let's keep watching the video. Go a few more minutes left of this. Not go rusty on these things. So I don't you can pick it up after a month. Maybe be bad for a bit, but you'll get right back to it. CS:GO, you're gonna be washed after a month. Although I think CS:GO makes headshots way more satisfying than Valorant. Hell yeah. Oh. The CS:GO op is just perfect. Valorant's yes. op could never be like this and there's Trash. also a ton of small things in csgo like ninja diffuses and all that wacky stuff but there's also a lot about that in valorant as well now of course the most glaring issue like with comparing these gameplays is going to be the abilities in valorant this is where opinion comes in i love the abilities in valorant and i think it just adds so much more to the game so much more replayability and so many different things that can happen in each game i could play a game of csgo and experience the same pop flashes smoke lineups frag lineups and wall bangs that i did in every other match meanwhile in valorant i could have some stupid ass team comp that's gonna rush me immediately See, or team <clears throat> comp that's just gonna this is the thing, this is the one thing that you can't compare CSGO with Valorant. This is where Valorant is a complete different game. You can compare it in shooting, in movement, in weapons, in skins, but like these ability shits, like come on. It's a complete different game. You can't compare that to CSGO. Like in a, in a sense, maybe yeah, it's more fun for you. There's more like different shits, but CSGO, there's not a world where CSGO would ever have any abilities, man. Because it's just clean, raw game. No need for that shit. But okay, he can keep waffling though. Play See. smart. Now, like I said, those two reasons might be the exact reason reason to enjoy the game and i don't blame you at all like i said totally opinion based if you enjoy doing the same thing every match of csgo go for it i love if it if you love unpredictable overstimulating shit like valorant go for that as well I, but I think valorant abilities just add so much more versatility to the gameplay but of course some of you are gonna prefer csgo and that's completely fine because i can totally see why you would enjoy that gameplay as well hey i did for a thousand hours and i'd probably still be playing it to this day if i didn't get back banned and no Pussy, cheating. i don't want to talk about how that happened but who Pussy. knows i could always play csgo on another account which Skill i do issue, probably. and hey i'm cheat. not playing it like i do valorant but i don't know it's just kind of hard to compare these two it's like comparing tf2 to overwatch yeah there's some similarities but they're just different overall true, and true. i know that's the whole point of this video but don't worry about it conclusion overall i don't think either are better than each other i think it's very dependent on one person to enjoy one game compared to the other i mainly I mean, enjoy yeah. Valorant just because of the community it's not so toxic as cs goes and the what? game feels way more new to me way more polished and of course it's like that for a reason now if you're more of a serious gamer Dude, uh... It's, it might be only me, but I genuinely enjoy toxic people in my team. Okay, maybe not too much. If they are good and toxic at the same time. If they're complete trash and toxic, then it pisses me off. I like the toxic part of CSGO. It just gets your blood going, man. I don't know. If I had to sit in a fucking 5v5 lobby where everyone is always friendly to me and just calling out positions, it would just get so boring fast. With all the toxic Russians, all these other fucking bums calling you shit and some other stuff. Telling that you're, I don't know, they're gonna fuck your mother or something. It just, no, man. It's just something beautiful. Beautiful, man it makes me makes me drop a tear man csgo's got that rugged feeling mainly because it is a lot older and on a super old engine please update to source 2 already <laughs> Jeez, and yeah, i think CSGO is works. much more skill based <laughs> yeah. and definitely gunplay the based magic combo I, depending on who you ask and sometimes i enjoy csgo and most of the time i get on to just gamble but i digress both games are great csgo has a very rich history and valorant has a very rich history ahead of it i can feel what if, what's with the odins does it what is with maybe the odins it does yeah
Whether that's a good or bad thing, I'm not too sure yet. So overall, I think both games are good, like I said. And the main takeaway I want, I think both communities should be much more understanding of each other and just understand that people enjoy one game for another reason. Of course, this video isn't going to solve that problem. People are still going to hate on each other, but it is what it is. And if you enjoy CSGO and still haven't tried out Valorant, I definitely recommend it. Now, a Valorant player to CSGO, I'm not too sure. I think it's a very big skill gap compared to Valorant, but hey, maybe you'll like it. But moral of the story, enjoy what you enjoy. Dude, you know what else I was thinking? You know how when CSGO came out, it looked like a it looked like a 2012 game. It looked horrible. All the maps that were kind of just imported from Source, all the models, all, all the characters had the way, I don't know, the way everything looked like, even the UI. And over these 10 years, it has changed so much and it's now actually kind of part of, uh, you know, 2023. It has aged well. And I'm wondering now with Valorant, how are they gonna update their game in like 10 years from now on? You know what's crazy? It's been out for like three years now as well, Valorant. Valorant, such a long time. I think it came out in like 2020 or before, uh, I don't remember when, it, I think 2020, right? I wonder if they're gonna ever change how the game looks. I guess we'll see, man, in 10 years or seven years, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, shit, good for this guy. 337k views in seven days, bro. Little bro literally just farmed the YouTube algorithm, man. So easy. He said nothing throughout the whole video, nothing new, nothing too like in-depth or too special. Shit on CSGO skins and homie get this many views and it'll probably get even more views. So so, hey, Goldek, Goldek man, good for you, sir. It's gonna be your most po Oh, shit, another popular one in Fortnite. <laughs> but hey, man, I, I can't hate on this guy, you know? Made an easy farm video, so respect, respect. I don't know, the takes on the skin's kind of weird.